Colin, if I can come to you, the big um, picture project is the World Cup. Yep. Does this mean Qatar is likely to lose the World Cup? I don't think so. There's been some speculation that possibly it might mean they won't be able to deliver on the World Cup or the allegations of funding various organisations might mean they lose the World Cup. But at the moment, I think that's unlikely. So at, at the moment, the, the World Cup itself, that's FIFA's, uh, the, the, the world footballing body of FIFA, that's their tournament. They've awarded it to Qatar. Yeah, and it's and in, Qatar's going ahead and it's building. In, and it's in 2022, so there's a, still quite a long way to go. I mean, you could... There's a lot of um, water to flow under the bridge between now and 2022, and I think just because we've had a week of um, disruption and the expectation of a bit more disruption, but the expectation is that it won't be, you know, infinite, doesn't necessarily mean the World Cup um, sort of so construction programs not. So going to be if delivered. the scenario is that things are resolved quickly, there's a diplomatic solution or some sort of rapid solution, then there's no problem. Everything goes back to normal with a slightly different political um, background. Yeah. If, if it drags on, though, what's the risk to the World Cup? Is it um, not being ready in time? Well, it depends. It's a, it, the question, I think, then becomes what is ready in time? So if you look at things like the Metro, most of the major packages in the Metro are underway. They've got a completion date way ahead of the 2022 deadline. Um, the first bits of stadiums are now being delivered as well. So you could maybe have a scenario where not all the stadiums are delivered on time but you've got most of them in place so I think it would become a question of what is ready rather than if they're ready I'm sure it will be ready for the World Cup there might be elements that aren't ready okay um, but so it might and again it would have to drag on for quite a long time for you to get yeah. to this point of view and we've actually seen in other World Cups where bits have not quite yeah, you know, in Brazil yeah. in particular yeah so okay, I mean, we so haven't even had the 2018 World Cup yet. So I mean, we've, we've yeah. got a, lo a long, long way to go with that. So okay, I think so that's in terms premature. of, in terms of, uh, if things are resolved quickly, no problem as you were. If things drag on, even with an impact on some of the projects, probably there's enough time, uh, and we're far enough advanced that there's not a major impact. What about a, a, a political decision to? withdraw the World Cup is that something that's a risk possible I think the other thing just to add on to that is if you do see a situation where this drags on for quite a long time it, we're not talking about a country that's got um, very weak financial resources you've got a, a, a country that could pay a premium to get things finished on time if they absolutely had to so I think I think I think the, the likelihood of things not being delivered uh, for the World Cup is yeah, it's, and, it's not really something. That and I think be. that's the key issue is is getting things ready in time. I think in terms of politically, I mean, there's been a lot of controversy over, say, the, the World Cup in Russia next year. You know what what's happening in Ukraine and the human rights records, and even Qatar before this, on on its uh, certain issues, should it be awarded the World Cup politically? Uh, there's corruption allegations and other human rights things with, with labourers and, and so. And FIFA likes to stay separate from that. So I, I think. You know, unless something major happened, I don't think they politically would be taken off. I think okay. the, the key issue is completing the infrastructure okay. on time.